Well, I've made a I've made a big error, and that is that I should have gone to law school, not not business school. These these lawyers are smart, uh, but the reality is we've been extended invitation means uh, that just just today uh, we've been uh, sent a an agreement, and and we'll have an opportunity to review it, ask questions. We are not alone. There are 120 minor league teams across the country that have been sent these agreements. Our our club up in Akron, uh, the Double A affiliate of the Indians, was extended an opportunity to be the Double A affiliate of the Indians, which we have been since 1997. Uh, so no change there. Uh, and so we'll take the time and go through it and understand it, ask questions, and my sense is uh, work 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 together with Major League Baseball uh, to to finalize the, the the agreement. But but yeah, I think it's it's a safe assumption we will work this through um and uh, and get back to playing baseball in the spring and and so that's why we've been very careful with our language but great question so ken so when we talk about a team going from double a to triple a um what does that really entail from your perspective right like i mean do you have to add seating like does does your i guess day to day does it change at all or do you just add another a to the thing and it's like hey we're triple a now yeah, so sports, sports, you know, sports fans will know, you know, minor league teams, depending on the level, have different levels of treatment in terms of travel, welfare, the facility, et cetera. You know, a double A team, which Jacksonville has been for many years, will travel by bus from city to city playing Southern League teams. As a triple A team, we will now fly. Uh, we'll play against teams like Charlotte and Buffalo and, uh, and you know Nashville and Indianapolis, and so we'll be playing larger markets. We'll be play, be playing other NFL markets. I'll note as well. So I think it really is an establishment for the city. The great news, as it is to the ballpark, on the question you asked, is that the ballpark, you know, one to one financial ballpark was built as a AAA facility. Hmm. And so when John Delaney is part of the Better Jacksonville plan, and he was kind to reach out with a note today, he said we've been preparing for this for years. And so to some degree, this invitation. Uh, we knew we had a great facility. We have great geographic proximity to Miami for the Marlins. Um, we have great geographic proximity to the other AAA teams on the East Coast. And uh, and the facility is one of the best in the country. So, no, we don't sit here today and say, you know, we're not, well, let's put it this way. We're not coming with a, a list of, of demands to the city of Jacksonville. We're, we're, we're prepared. Uh, we've got a great lease. We've got great partners. There may be some things around the edges we need to do to get it ready. Uh, we put in a new field already. That's one of the advantages, I suppose, the silver lining of the pandemic is that this fall we've installed a new playing surface, uh, uh, which will be ready for the for the team in the in the spring when they come. Uh, and so, yeah, we'll we'll be ready for baseball. But that's a, an excellent question as well. Uh, I don't want to keep you much longer. I know you got some other calls to get to, so uh, I, I'll just share this quick story with you. Connor Maribel, who plays in the Cleveland Indians organization, who's from the area, I chatted with him back and forth a little bit, and he said, "Hey, are the shrimp going to be in the international league?" I said, "Yeah." Well, that's good news for a guy like that who's in the Cleveland organization. Their AAA team's Columbus, which yeah. means they will now he'll get a chance to come back and play home right if he's on. in AAA. Yeah. So uh, those kind of things are pretty cool uh, as well. Last question for you. Uh, the difference of player at AA and AAA, do we do we characterize this the right way? AAA guys are ready to go. You know, you don't have to develop them that much. Hey, if Miami needs a player, bam, call Jacksonville. Come on down. The AA player, we've seen a lot of stars, future stars, be here in Jacksonville, from Clayton Kershaw to Christian Yelich to Sixto Sanchez most recently, and bam, they're going to be like headline guys. Is, is that a correct way to characterize maybe AAA and double A? I think it depends on, on the major league affiliate. They use the different levels differently. I think the way you've characterized it is exactly correct, which is the blue chip uh, young double A prospect stays there, kind of you know rides the bench for a little while, works their way into the game, is taking those 12, 15-hour bus rides, Maybe not staying in the, the, the you know the major league level hotel and they're and they're figuring it out. They're you know if you're a pitcher and you've got two great pitches, you're developing that that third off speed pitch so that you can get in there and get that really tough hitter out. They're they're working on things. When you get when you get to the triple A level, uh, you know you're you're a call away. You know at this point you're 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 probably I'd say half our roster this year will be on the major league 40 man roster or at least a quarter of it uh, a lot of the guys that you see playing in jacksonville will have major league service time and so that's an interesting dynamic where in double a they're just happy to be there right they're excited to be playing professional baseball we're going to have a lot of guys now that think hey it's nice being in jacksonville but i'm supposed to be in miami i'm supposed to be you know p playing against the atlanta braves and playing against the mets and so um, you know, I think AAA will provide an opportunity for us to see a higher caliber of baseball 
both from our own team and then opponents. Uh, but uh, it's gonna it, it'll it'll be a terrific opportunity for us. And it, and, it, and I'll come back to this because I think it is really important to mention again. Jacksonville's the twelfth largest city in the United States. People are amazed when I say that. And you go back and you look at our population growth after the last ten years. You know, if you're from Jacksonville, which I am not, but I've spent a good portion of the last five years of my life understanding the market, learning it. You guys have welcomed me and and our team. Uh, you know, we belong here. And, and I, be, I believe in my heart, Jacksonville is a triple-A market, and we're just thrilled we were extended this opportunity. I'm with you, man. My little guy, Ty, might ask the biggest question, do they have to change their name? I said, heck no, they're still the Jacksonville Jumbo <laughs> Shrimp. Ken Babby, congrats. You better on, believe it. <laughs> congrats on the move to triple-A. Appreciate you taking a few minutes. Thank you, guys. Be well. We'll see you in the you spring. Bet. Happy holidays.